G'day, I'm Errol Thomas from Thomas Arena Products. Today, we're gonna to go through the setup of our TPL drags or our three-point linkage drags. Okay, so on our TPL drag, we have, it's very similar to the ETs. We have a cutter bar, which is back here. It's larger than the ET drag. Cutter bar sits down on the base. At the front here, we have our leveling bar. This is what does our cutting and filling on this drag. That'll come through, cut off the, the deeper material, and drop it where it's shallow. Okay, so this is our comb here. At the moment it's in the up position. So you put it in the lower position, and pull the top pins out, move it to the bottom. Okay, so once you've got your TPL drag hooked up to your track with your three-point linkage, now we'll go through the setup. So what you're looking for first of all is the chassis of the drag, which is this, this here, all the chassis. The chassis needs to be level, and by achieving that, using your top link arm here on the tractor, you can adjust your chassis angle. So at the moment there, it's not too bad, it's pretty good. Um, then we look at the depth, again, of your arena. This one is also set up at 50 millimetre deep. Tyres are just touching the surface, and your cutter bar is sitting down on your base. Your levelling bar here at the front is just trimming top of the, the arena. This arena at the moment is very level and very flat and the depth is even all over and that's in the zero position. If we come across a large amount of material build up in the arena here, this levelling bar would cut it off and drop it where it was not so level. Okay, so on our TPL drag we have the cutter bar here sitting on the base and we can adjust the angle of that cutter bar by simply rotating the tool bar, which is this one here. We use this link arm to rotate it forward to rotate it back. And then locking it up at the end with your lock. Okay, as you can see here, this is our cutter bar sitting down on our base. Very important this cutter bar is sit dead flat to the base. You don't want it sitting back on its heel and you don't want it tipped forward on the toe. So you need it to be set correctly. And again, rotating it, the tool bar changes the angle of the cutter bar. So on the cutter bar, this tool bar here is a good guide to what is actually happening with the cutter bar under the ground. So if you're getting the, the top here of the tool bar level, the cutter bar is going to be fairly level as well. But a good check is just to take the sand away and have a look. Okay, so these cutter bars are designed as they wear. It's very important to be able to adjust the tool bar so that you can always keep it level as they wear down. And once they wear to a point about here, you want to rotate cutter bars so you actually get used both sides of. So to adjust your levelling bar at the front of the drag, we use the link arm here on the tractor. And by rotating the link arm, you'll be able to adjust your levelling bar. Good rule of thumb is about a one rotation of your link arm will give you around about 10 to 15 millimetres of adjustment on your levelling bar. The ideal setup for our TPL drag, cutter bar is level and flat on the base. This one's set at 50 mil at the moment, so we've got 50 mil of clearance from the underside of the wheel to the underside of the cutter bar. Going through from there with our levelling bar, it should be set the same as the wheels, level with the riding surface. Thank you for watching the setup of our TPL three-point linkage drag.